what is going on guys so in this video i'm gonna be showing you nine innovative ways to make money with no code now there may be some methods that you may have heard about before but definitely there are gonna be some techniques that you probably have not heard about before and make sure you stay until the end of the video because i'm gonna be telling you what my personal favorite methods are for making money with no code and these are going to be probably the methods that you may want to start with now before we begin if you like no code you want to learn how to build code without getting into technical details without becoming a programmer without learning computer science make sure you smash a like on this video leave a comment below letting me know anything comment question doesn't really matter and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell having gotten that out of the way let's get started so the first way to make money with no code is the initial consulting okay this is going to be a fixed price and we're not talking about spending weeks months or even years building out an app supporting an app nothing like that now typically the way this is going to work is that you're going to connect with the prospective customer and you are going to help them decide whether building a no code app is going to be beneficial for solving their problems and typically this is going to include creating some kind of an architectural diagram telling the customer whether no code is going to be a good solution or not and also telling them what kind of uh, platform that is going to best suit them the pros and cons of going along that platform maybe the app is going to be built using Adalo maybe we're going to be using Bubble how much time uh, they should invest into this project uh, all of these things is basically the very very initial stages of building out the app now after you provide this consulting service maybe the customer would be interested in going further and maybe you may want to strike a deal with them and decide that you want to work with them in order to develop this app or maybe it's going to end right then and there but regardless what happens you're going to be making money because you're going to be providing your valuable expertise to the customer who may want to utilize no code but they have no idea where to start so this is a great method if you're not interested in you know spending a lot of time on a project you just want to show them what the options are you want to show them you know what the possibilities are you know what the situation is make your money and move on the next way to make money with no code is by prototyping okay we're not talking about creating a diagram a wireframe diagram or anything like that we are talking about going out and creating an app that does something very very specific a very very simple app so let me show you what i mean so for instance here we are at upwork and this person builds mvp or apps so he has a starter plan he has a standard plan he has an advanced plan here is another upwork they have a starter plan standard and advanced plan this is probably something more advanced than a simple prototype okay typically for a prototype you are looking in the range between a thousand fifteen hundred dollars to maybe somewhere around two thousand twenty five hundred dollars i have seen no code agency exclusively create prototypes for around two thousand dollars so if you need a quick mvp you need a prototype something just just to show just to prove to the market to see where there's going to be demand or anything to show the market what the app does and see if you know it's going to get traction or not you can essentially charge from 1500 to around 2500 dollars and up depending on the prototype and so in my view this is a very lucrative area to get into because you're essentially building the the first version of the app you're not going back and forth with the customer you're not going back and forth with the requirements you're not going to get emails from the customer you know asking you to change this change that a prototype is a prototype you know like an uber prototype it's an uber prototype it, it's not going to have a million functions it's going to work like an uber but it's not going to have all the bells and whistles of an uber you know like a amazon e-commerce prototype is going to it's going to work exactly like in the e-commerce side it's not gonna have a billion you know bells and whistles uh of you know amazon.com it's just gonna be a simple e-commerce app 
that the customer can uh, show to the market and see if there's going to be demand, if there's going to be potential for the app. So in my view, this is one of the best ways to kind of make money with no code. The next way to make money with no code is by building and selling custom components. Okay, so you may have seen Bubble. Bubble has plugins. AppGyver has something similar. Now Flutterflow takes this to a brand new level. Flutterflow components are really kind of like mini apps all in itself. Flutterflow is built on top of Flutter, which is essentially, you know, it's code. It's, it's using code to build apps. It's a framework, it's a library where you're actually coding. And Flutterflow, because it's built on top of Flutter, has access to lots and lots of components. Basically, that means you can customize the app in any way, shape, or form that you desire. And so if your customer has already an app, maybe they have a Flutterflow app, or maybe they're using some other platform, you don't need to go out, take the app, modify it, do this, do that. You can simply build a component without even you know, looking at the app and then sell it to the customer and they can simply plug it into their app and start using it. Now, of course, you can sell it on the market here. You can do that or you can build it for the clients. Okay, you can do both. But in my view, a much more lucrative way would be building it for the clients because you can obviously charge a lot more money than selling a component on the market and competing with many, many other components. So this is a very, very lucrative way to make money with no code. The next way to make money with no code is by converting existing apps, code apps, apps that were coded using a, a regular programming flame framework to no code apps. Okay, and this is a very, very interesting niche because I have not seen many people do that. And essentially what that means is that you take a customer's app that already exists, that was coded, and you offer to switch it to no code. And obviously the benefits of this is that by being a no code app, the customer can essentially change it around. They can maintain it themselves. They can maintain it maybe one developer instead of having a whole team of programmers, okay? There's gonna be less maintenance, uh, less support, less bugs, obviously, uh, less hassle, less of everything. It's just gonna be easier. And so in this example, we're not gonna be coding an app from scratch. We're gonna be simply porting an existing app to the no-code platform. And this is great when a customer does not need a new app, when the customer already has an app, but the customer is tired of all of these maintenance headaches, of all of these things that go into maintaining a software project, a software product, essentially. Bugs, maintenance, upgrades, all of this stuff. When you port it to a no-code platform, all of those headaches go away. And so in my view, this is another lucrative area that not a lot of people talk about. The next one is the classical one, and this includes building full-blown apps, okay? And this is something I'm sure you have seen before, but I still wanna put that out there because this way, you're gonna be making a lot more money than some of these other methods. This is a tried and true method. Now, I have put 5K as the initial number there that you know, you're gonna be charging for the app. Now, this obviously depends on the kind of app you're going to be building. Is it going to be just a mere prototype? Is it going to be something more serious? Is it going to be using a database? Is it going to be making API calls? What kind of functionality is it going to have? The more features, the more you'll be able to charge for the app. But typically, this is where you're going to be making the bulk of your money. So check this out. Here we have the same Upwork page and they have the start of the standard and the advanced. So what I'm talking about is I'm talking about in the advanced range. Now, this guy is charging on the low end. Here's another Upwork profile here, and he is charging a lot more, 16,000, 28,000, 40,000. And this obviously is not gonna be a simple prototype. This is not gonna be a simple app. This is not gonna be a component or anything like that. This is gonna be a full-blown app. And as you can see, he's making decent money. He has 74 reviews. He's a top rated plus person and he's, you know, he's probably making enough money to feed himself. So this is another something to think about. Sometimes going back to the basics is the way to go. 
Now, last but not least, in this specific category, the next way you can make money with no code is by offering technical support, okay? Now, this could be with the app that you've built, or this could be with other apps that the customer already has. So may maybe the customer has apps, somebody built them, there are no code apps, essentially. And the customer, they do not want to spend time, effort, and money of maintaining this these apps themselves. So this is where you can come in. Maybe they have an Adalo app. Maybe they have a Bubble app. Maybe they have a Flutterflow app. So essentially, they will hire you on a retainer basis, okay? And this could be per month. This could be per year. And, you, you know, you can charge them $1,000 per month. You can charge them $2,000 per month. It depends on the complexity. It depends on how many hours per month you're going to be working. And it depends on what the customer essentially wants you to do. Now, I wrote tech support here, and this essentially includes maintaining the app. But it doesn't have to be just maintaining. Maybe the customer wants to add new functionality, new features. Maybe it's going to be kind of a monthly thing where you're going to be you know, creating a release every single month. Maybe there's going to be two releases every single month. So we're not talking about prototyping custom components, converting existing apps, building full-blown apps. We are talking about taking existing apps and simply building on top of it, okay? And you can essentially make recurring income doing just that. Now, in this part, I want to talk about a couple of indirect ways to make money, okay? The first way is that you can create a free app and you can put ads on it, okay? So you're not going to be making money from the app. You're going to be making money from the ads on the app. And so you may have seen websites where uh, there are some ads embedded there. You know, they typically use something called AdSense. This is Google's AdSense. Uh, it does not need to be just AdSense. There's lots of other ad networks out there. But you can do the same thing with apps as well. And so what I mean is that you can have an app and that app may have ads in the middle, top or the bottom. So, for instance, an app that I use all the time is a currency converter app just to see what the currencies are doing. You know, which currency has gained on the other one, which is getting stronger, which is getting weaker. And there is an ad on the bottom of the app. And so the more I use the app and if I click on the ad, the more the, the person who built the app is going to make. So this is a very, very interesting way to make money. Last but not least, this is probably one of the most interesting ways of making money, okay? And this is where you're going to be giving away apps, okay? And you're going to be charging for enhancement and customizations. And the important thing is that you're not going to be building apps to give away. You're essentially going to be taking sample apps, maybe from Glide, from Flutterflow, from Adalo, from some of these other platforms, giving them to a prospective customer, and see, and then charging for various enhancements. And so you might have seen, for example, in Flutterflow, when you create a new project, you're given a ton of different templates that you can use. And so you can essentially take some of these templates, you can customize for your own need, and you can give it to a prospective customer and say, here, this is a free app. You can use it, you can do whatever you want with it. But if you want me to customize it for you, I can do it for you, okay? And the same situation is when it comes to Adalo, another popular no-code platform. If, if you try to create a new app, you're given essentially a, a bunch of templates that you can use. So like there's coaching, chat, directory, ordering appointments, and to-do list. And so you can take one of these apps, you can create it, you can kind of lightly customize it, share it with your prospective customer that's in the same niche and say, well, this is a free app for me. It's on me. But if you want me to customize it, you want me to build some features, some enhancements, stuff like that, then I will charge for that. That's going to be extra. And so in my view, this is a very innovative way because pretty much all no-code platforms have these so-called templates. Glide has them. Flutterflow has them, Adalo has them, Bubble has them. A lot of them have it and you can essentially take them, you can customize them, you can change some things around. Maybe you want to customize, make a little tweaks here and there for the prospective customer and then you can 
charge for all the enhancements all the customizations in my view this is a very very innovative and clever way to make money now no. i told you at the beginning of the video that if you watch until the end i will tell you the methods that i like the best and so i'm gonna do that right now one of my favorite methods is this one so creating these sample apps customizing them lightly giving them away for free and then charging for enhancements and customizations this is one of the most clever and kind of unique ways of making money another method that i really really like is prototyping and what i like best about it is that it's fixed it's understood it's understood in the sense that you're not going to be creating a complicated app that this is going to be an app that's going to be version 0.001 something that the customer will absolutely have to build on top of and and your job at that point is done now if the customer wants you to do more you're going to be able to charge more but at that point of the game you're pretty much done and you can easily charge the fixed rate for this without doing comparatively lots of work Another method that I like is tech support because this includes recurring revenue. Having said that, it's important to agree with your customer beforehand on your responsibilities so that you're not doing a lot of work for not a lot of money, okay? But if I had to pick my two favorite methods out of all of them, it would be prototyping and giving away these sample apps in a particular niche with the expectation that you will be able to make money with various customizations and enhancements. Now, if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more ideas of making money with no code, more innovative ways, more unique and clever methods, do let me know below, like this video, leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in a future video.